Well, I'll be. That is one successful chaos garden happening. I was really surprised at how fast it, it blew up like that. It's unreal. Which leads me to believe that our late summer garden planting is going to be the same success rate. So we're going to do some late summer garden planting with some winter squash and pumpkins and some cucumbers and melons and whatever else we can get our hands on. Sound good? It's going to be awesome. It. And the stuff that we can grow up a trellis, we're just going to do some teepees and then we'll let some stuff just trail like we did the watermelon, just trailing as much as it wants to. But then as it starts to leave the path, I roll it back in on itself. So I just go around and send the ends back to the center of the plants. And these watermelon are doing great with that method gonna plant the big pumpkins on the end bed so that we can let it just trail out that way because they will definitely find a long ways and like I've said before about 90% of the seed that we are using are from Mary's heirloom seed I have a link in my bio you can check it out she's got excellent product and quality and customer service like you wouldn't believe and I have an affiliate link, so it won't change the cost to you, but it'll help our family out if you use our link when you make your purchases for the best heirloom seeds in the industry. This lazy cat right here. She's got the right idea. She found a shady spot under the basil. <laughs> so we've started cutting back basil and dehydrating it for later use, but we have so much. I've actually offered it up to the community for free because you know, that's a lot of basil and we're not going to use it all. That's for sure. But the pollinators absolutely love it. So it breaks my heart to remove it. I don't know if you can see. There's little pollinators that are just all over. Oops. Right when I zoomed in, it went away to the next flower. So, yep. Are you raking it out? Yeah. Good job. This naked baby is making it hard for me to film anything today with him running around in the background. We set up a little Dollar General pool for them. And he came out here and just took his clothes off and jumped in. You like swimming? Mm -hmm. Are we going to go real swimming tomorrow? Mm -hmm. That'll be fine. You like taking care of your garden, don't you? It's growing so nice. All right. So I picked out eight varieties that I really wanted to grow still and haven't planted yet this year. So the ones that are going to vine and be a lighter fruit, I'm putting on the teepees. So we got China Jade, then Candy Roaster, North Georgia Squash, Trombancino Squash, Hubbard Blue Squash, Banana Melon, Kabucha Squash, Armenian Cucumber, and Connecticut Field Pumpkins. I realize I didn't necessarily pronounce those all perfectly. I'm not trying to, it's really hot out here. So <laughs> I'm gonna get some seeds put in the ground and water them in and that might be all I've got for today in the garden because it is getting hot and humid. Okay. All right, we've got it recorded in the notebook and Ryan's putting the irrigation back into the beds we will water them in with the hose first but after that hopefully irrigation will do its job and we won't have to so as you can see we have been gifted another load of mulch from chip drop and I'm moving it by myself with a pitchfork right now while it's nice and loose and fluffy. That other pile in the background has aged so much, it's gotten really heavy, so it's really hard to move. So I am filling in this section. This is where the fence was. I just pulled it down to do this project. I just laid it over here. So if I can get one more area to put another bed, maybe even two, depending on how much mulch I can shovel and uh, expand our garden for the fall. Pretty excited. Okay, I might be crazy, 
or just really motivated. I almost got that whole pile moved. I said I was going in after planting those seeds, after watering them in. I, you know, it's a nice breeze today. I'll say that. But now I have room for at least two more beds and something that I've wanted to do long term is make a path and have an entrance here so I can come in from the back door. So, yeah, I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to have a path right here, like between where those beds are and the teepee garden. Lead my path out this way. So that means that I need to take the other piece of poultry net and put it around here. So I'm going to have to cut what I have over there for the entrance for, wait, no, not for the entrance, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Okay. I think I got it figured out. So the path is going to be right here. So I want it to open right here. So I'm setting poles and the reason why I'm including this mulch pile on the inside of my poles where the fencing is going to go is because we're going to use some of these fresh oak chips to put our blue oyster mycelium in. So we are growing blue oyster mushrooms from a liquid culture that was sent to us by a dear friend and the mycelium is growing on the spawn now and in fall is the perfect time to use fresh oak chips so that is what we're hoping to use for that um yeah i think this is pretty cool i have a path and a couple of new garden beds and i may even mix it up and have them go this way instead of this way i like to keep things interesting if you can't tell <laughs> Oh, and again, we're going to be doing them in this style, which is the mounding raised beds without wood. We were lucky to get that octagon off of uh, a buy nothing group, local buy nothing group, so that the kids could have a very cool little house to hide in once it grows up. I am really excited about that. I was just standing up here on the mulch pile and realized that I had a really good view of the garden. So we're going to do beds like that. That's our compost. So we're going to be getting another truckload of that compost. Ryan has the privilege of getting any of the bags that are split and can't be sold. So a thousand pounds of compost was what it took for this, this, and these. But we decided to move our patio set into here. I'm going to move the chairs in here too so we can eat in the garden and it's just like so pretty from up here until you get over there don't look over there that's my weed pile over here gorgeous and don't look at all that messy stuff in the yard we, we, we have been pulling stuff out and we got to do some yard cleanup tomorrow maybe I don't know I didn't expect to be out here this long today and I'm really proud of myself for doing so much because it's hard for me to do this much work I'm gonna be honest my health hasn't been the greatest and this is just making me feel good y'all I cannot believe that I was able to do what I was able to do today we had a lot more wind today that kept on cooling me off because I was sweating buckets so the wind would cool my skin off and it was such a relief and I just kept working but we just went inside and had a quick dinner and I just came out to admire it one more time and get some still pictures in this perfect evening hue of light I love it I can't believe it I'm really excited about this area. This is definitely the most impromptu garden addition I've ever done. Of course, this isn't all we plan on doing, but it's all I can do today. I can't wait to see 
what kind of awning we can put over this walkway. I've got a hose connector that I'm gonna attach right here. Like I'm gonna, it's a fork. So I can put another hose at this entrance and it's just gonna make things flow so easy and nice through the garden. I'm so excited.